So what would you say is the best dressed borough of London? I guess that's, I mean, that's, I'm going to have to go with West London and like the Savile Row sort of area. It's the only way I could sort of go. There. So because, I mean, it depends what you're after, really. Like I live in South East London. It's a very different vibe, but some um, just really well-dressed people in their own individual way. They express themselves incredibly. I used to, I'm from East London just originally. And again, that's the same sort of thing. A lot of work, a lot of, um, yeah, like um, workwear there, which I really like. And um, everyone makes an effort. They would, well, not everyone makes it, but it seems like people are very conscious and they either are making an effort and they just look pretty cool effortlessly. Um, or you go to somewhere like Savile Row and in that area and people, yeah, do tend to, to look great. Obviously, you get the other side of things where it's more throwing money at it rather than style or thoughts. And that's a different kettle of fish altogether. But if you take that out, um, it's, it's got to be the most stylish place, I think. Okay, so if I had to really push you to a specific borough, so Savile Row aside, what's the best dressed borough in London? I, I couldn't do one in West London because I wouldn't do that to say like that is... I'll go... I'll go Hackney then. Let's go Hackney. Let's go... <laughs> Let's go home. Like, just because they, they they cover the, the casual wear a lot better. And there's a lot of good work wearing. There's a lot of, actually a, a lot of older guys as well who wear really nice clothes. Like this, this I think, we have 37 people that are around my age a little bit older who have you know maybe made a little bit of money or they're into got their own businesses they really do take care of themselves maybe it's not the tailoring side of things but the actual casual stuff i think there's some, there's some good stuff right there so you've got your finger on the pulse as it were when it comes to celebrities and their dressing especially when it comes to tailoring the euros is on at the moment and with that comes the announcement as it were of different football teams is casual wear or certainly presentation wear off the pitch you weren't that much of a fan of the italians way even though you know it was it was designed by the famed armani no they really upset me as well because um, <laughs> i think i showed in that video what they they did to the last euros which was incredible uh, where machine was the manager and he was beautiful no, it just they just looked incredible it's so italian and very reminiscent of what they had in the 80s now they've gone for this knitted jumpery sort of blazer thing with Italia written on the back and it doesn't fit anywhere. All the players I, I don't, all the players definitely haven't had a fitting for that. that I think that was the key because they the fit's all over the place. They've just gone small, medium or large, it's, it seems. And again, I'm only poking fun because it's um it's like nothing too serious because a lot of people did take it very seriously. But um <laughs> yeah, just it was just what we're talking about about proportions. The lapels are very small and skinny. Um pulled up a lot of um conic apps going on and i'm not normally one to be really into that detail to sort of really poke around in it but you know, it was it was didn't look good were you able to have a look at the england stuff the mark suspenser suits yeah i wasn't too it, that was like the blandest thing i've seen from what i've seen anyway it was the beige was it the beige one yeah yeah it was pretty beige um <laughs> yeah i mean i love my mark suspenser as well like I, I do really like them, but we've just gone for the most basic sort of suiting sort of way. No, I don't like, you know, there's a lot of the, the base stuff they had on um, like a Harrington jacket with the trousers, I think. And they've paired two cut like beige and beige together. It just looks like you're wearing a onesie kind of thing or like a baby grow. I thought I'm done like. <laughs> I was in Mark Suspenses like two weeks ago. And then I was like, these clothes are quite nice, actually. And then I went home, and then and, uh, the algorithm must have known because it popped up this meme, and it's like, "Am I getting old, or does Mark Suspenser's clothes suddenly look quite nice?" <laughs> oh. It's true, though. They're great, and then same with John Lewis as well. John Lewis is one of the most underrated um, things ever. Like, they do some great stuff, and but yeah, you can get some really good pieces. They they started with some really lovely high waisted trousers, which is very nice, and um, they're quite affordable as well. 